Good morning. Hi. I didn't even see you yet. Hang on, let me just say hello. Got it. Awesome. Okay. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like your kicks. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, here we go. So, Tom, thank you so much for being with us today. And why don't we just kick this off with, for our betting audience who might not yes. be familiar with you yet, okay. can you please I just will. introduce yourself, Absolutely. talk about your design philosophy? Okay. So, hi, guys. Uh, my name is Tom Felicia. This is my showroom in High Point. Um, this is my dog, Lago. He was supposed to be in his bag because he's much nicer in his bag, he but he came out. He but he camera. likes, he really likes you. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's it. And he also loves bets. So we'll get to that yeah, in a minute. We'll so um, I'm an interior designer from New York City. And um, I also work in media and I have a showroom in New York City called Sedgwick and Brattle. And so that's kind of a little window into who I am as a designer. And then my philosophy is really about clean, classic, timeless lines. Um, a lot of our product is sort of rooted in sort of an American lifestyle point of view. Um, I would say it's stylish and sophisticated um, and uh, comfortable and inviting. We call it American chic. So we are loving Tom Felicia, a world-renowned interior designer <laughs> at this moment. I had to pay her to say that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But he is the uh, subject of an original interview coming to you in your May issue of Bedtimes and Sleep Savvy magazines. Tom feels like that it's time for bedding manufacturers and retailers to partner with the design community. Tom, why do you feel that's, that's so important to put bedding manufacturers and the design community together? Well, I think I, I, I can tell you just, I, I have a design firm and I have designers that work uh, mm -hmm. at my company and I will tell you, Purchasing mattresses is um, about as complicated as buying light bulbs these days because there are so many options, um, there are so many different manufacturers, there are so many different fabrications, and um, and I just think that um, it's, it, I think if there's a, at this moment, um, it's not just like soft, medium, and firm. Right, you know what I mean? Easy. It's not easy yeah. and it's expensive, and so um, if you are really going to understand the product or connect with a product, it's really important that the manufacturer and a representative, someone that I think um, the consumer can trust and understands their aesthetic and their point of view and like sort of, you know, appreciates what they're doing. It's the same way you would take great, you take great advice from a friend who you trust. Right. And so um, I think that is going to hopefully take a little bit of the mystery of the multiple options, thicknesses, fabrications, constructions of mattresses that I think has made it really wonderful because you can find something that's very specific to your needs that fits your sort of comfort level, your lifestyle, what's good for a guest room, what's good for kids rooms, you know, athletes versus, um, you know, someone who maybe has, you know, some kind of like, um, you know, muscle issue that they're dealing with. Like every, you, you can really be specific now um, to, you know, uh, beds can really sort of be custom, custom at yes, a certain level custom. or Sorry. feel very personalized for the person or the people or the family mm -hmm. or the hotel or whatever brand mm -hmm. that you're sort of dealing with. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's a really wonderful thing to have all of those options. But with all of those options comes a lot of questions and a lot of confusion. And I, I, I think that there's a really great opportunity to make it a more approachable, more fun, mm -hmm. and easier. And get the designers on board to tell the story, yeah. to tell the story to yeah. the clients and make it yeah. easier. So since we have you, last question, yes. everybody wants to hear about trends. Yes. So please look into your crystal ball, look toward 2024, <laughs> and what are your clients asking You know, for embedding or mattresses, or what do you see, colors? I mean, patterns. I think I think there's probably two things. I think mm -hmm. um, sort of health and wellness is a big um, component. I think that there are to have mattresses that are thoughtful about sort of the content um, that are they're safe they're for they're in terms of fire safety and things like that, um, and that they're also healthy and mm -hmm. they um, and having them at different price points, offering different levels of you know sort of 
from organic to just sort of clean and, 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 and chemical free at a certain level. So I think all of those kinds of things are very important because I think that's become, uh, you know, people understand that we spend more than 50% of our lives in our bed, really. Right. So the idea of being in an environment that is, you know, sort of conducive to health and wellness and, you know, and just, you know, getting a good night's sleep. And we all understand the benefits of that. Right, Lago? <laughs> oh, look at As him. he ruins the bedding. He's like <laughs> ruining the bedding on top of the mattress. Well. But, but so, and also I think, you know, we're also, you know, with, with the way that, you know, certainly having a pet. I do realize that, you know, even sort of durability, cleanability, that's a big thing that people are looking for. And then I just don't understand, and I think my clients, we always laugh about it when we are looking at mattresses, that they're generally not that attractive. Mm. And, you know, and the thing is, is that there's a lot of times that there's nothing on that bed for one or two days out of the week. Mm. And um, and so it'd be really nice if it was something that was attractive and mm -hmm. that it was just something part not of just plain white, but something yeah, and also something that design. some design yeah, something that yeah. was just um, not so much of a statement like mm -hmm. some of the mattresses are. That was actually something that you would mm -hmm. want to have in your environment, right? Almost and like that, its own piece of furniture. Yeah, I mean, it's just yeah. you know, it's just it's something that right exactly that it was. It already feels like part of the landscape of the design of the space. Um, and then you cover it up, but when it isn't covered up, it's, um, <laughs> well, he's you got to deal with that. I know. He loves this he mattress. He loves this mattress. Okay. Well, Tom, we love <laughs> yes. that you are getting involved in the bedding industry and I yes. full well support you. I'm so excited well, thank to you. see what's coming next from you. And beautiful you all, mattresses. Beautiful mattresses. <laughs> so you all please keep tuning in to all of our designer coverage. And as always, have a great night's sleep.